this guy I'll try you think shadow and shade are too similar I mean like what is he what is even split shade is it like a white shade and a black shade Like, Flow Kid is a kid with flow. I understand that. And the 100 obviously represents the percent of awesome he is. Okay. Not sure. Aren't shades ethereal? How do you... Accept... Uh, that one. All right. Yeah. I'm just, I'm too lazy to type. I'm just gonna give him a hello and good luck. Uh, would I like to mulligan? Nah. Light cuts a shade? Does it? I don't, I'm not sure that's how physics work, but I guess it's a sort of fantasy physics, so. Uh, does it matter which one I play first? Nah, I'm gonna play the island. Just in case he doesn't do anything and I somehow draw islands and play turn three Spire Golem. And Perilous Mirror. It's a pretty good card. I think I'm gonna dead weight that so I don't lose any of my creatures. Tell me if the sound or the video looks terrible. I uh, can't promise I'll fix anything right now, but feedback lets me fix things later. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's each, oh, it's each opponent, huh. Don't even have to target. Nice. Kabuto Moth? Oh, uh, that was that good Kamigawa card. I remember that. I've never played Kamigawa, but everyone I talk to says Kabuto Moth is amazing in Kamigawa. What? What is this deck doing? Uh, so I'm going to swing and see what happens. Alright. There's still a fan in the background, but I should be talking loud enough that you can turn your mic down low, and are your speakers down low enough? You shouldn't hear it. Um, I could play Moirak Replica, but I'm just gonna suspend this Ephemeron. I might never get to cast it if I don't suspend it now. Put that over there. Bunch of mana for a Torch Slinger. Yeah, sure, whatever. Always yield, and sure, my crabby mana comes back to haunt me. This costs five right now. Oh yeah, so if I draw, if I draw an island, I'm not blocking. I'm gonna take two, and then next turn, if I don't draw anything, I can block and draw two cards. A morph. Oh, I hope it's not Shaper Parasite. I really hope it's not Shaper Parasite. I think there's a couple other ones that would be bad too. But, okay. Let's see what happens here. Uh, take two, block. But if it's, if it's the thing, isn't there a red one? that when he unmorphs it, it deals two, that he can unmorph it for that color. So I think I have to do this, oh, actually, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna sack it main phase anyways, I might as well swing. Yeah. Alright, so if I don't draw a land off this, this is gonna be a really awkward play. Alright. Do play that because I'm afraid of the morph. Okay, it was a shape of parasite. Good thing I decided to do all that on my turn. 
I didn't have to Doom Blade it, but Shaper Parasite's just really good. Guildgate. Okay. So next turn I'm getting an Ephemeron. I could play Blind Zealot Frostburn Weird here. I could also play Spire Golem. Nothing else? That seems terrible. I can play Chasm Drake. I think since I'm getting an Ephemeron, probably next turn, I'm going to play the Frostburn Weird and the Blind Zealot. User not found, bro. Uh, yeah. What is this? Searing Spear? That is fine, yeah. I don't know, there, there seems to be way too much removal in this, in this set. Just like, based on the level- like, all the removal kills all the creatures. So just, all the creatures just keep dying. Like, okay. You gonna bounce my dude? Alright, now you're gonna bounce my ephemeron. But that's okay, because I've already got I've got five lands now. This is Shroud, right? Yeah, so I can't Morningstar that. I'm gonna counter it. I like probably should. It, it is a dragon. It is a common dragon that costs two mana. It was really good in Time Spiral Draft. Okay. Ooh, nice. I got my Disturbed Burial. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, just taking four? Interesting. Two, three. This costs still four. I'm just gonna play Chasm Drake. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be countering something if you didn't counter the Ephemeron. Interesting. What do you have to combo with this Neurarch replica? Fling or not fling? Uh, narcolepsy, narcolepsy. I have ways around that. I have repulse, mist raven, etc. The heck is this? This is a pinger. Okay. Target creature you control. Just always yield to that. Uh, ooh, combo. Combo? Yes, indeed, that is a combo. Heck, he's not doing anything. I'm just gonna Morning Star. And if I was gonna Morning Star, I should have Basilica Screechered first, so I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh no, I can't. I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I'm gonna quit. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no. I have a lot more cards in hand than you. Hopefully you don't have capsize with buyback. I think I can race that, but I could be wrong. Uh, uh-oh. Turn instant ore? So it's Searing Spear? Oh, okay. That's not so bad. I 
does give him a free roll attack, though. Oh, okay. What? You, But you get through more damage if you just ping it. And then... But if you ping it first, then Searing Spear, you get through for two. But now I can block, and then, I, and then you have to Searing Spear to kill it, and you only hit me for one. So that's incorrect. Oh, okay, or you're just not going to kill it at all. Alright, so this costs two now? No, this costs three. And I have the unhallowed burial. So yeah, as long as I don't just... Interesting. Oh, he's saving it for the Chasm Drake. That's what's happening. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Yeah, okay. It will be interesting, uh... I think I misplayed that. I should just, yeah, I just play defensively. Uh, uh oh. Actually, that's pretty crappy. <laughs> Okay. Huh. 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 That, that is not great. Because I can't play the Basilica's creature first or he'll kill it. So I have to repulse this, uh, leaving open that. And maybe he'll kill his Fin Hunter in response? And I am perfectly happy with that. Okay, he's just targeting me. Alright. Um. No, I'm not attacking. Okay. And you ping me? Yes. So you've got the tapper in hand. Yeah, and mystery card. So let's suit up this. All right. That makes me happy. That makes me super happy. Let me play the land. I'm not attacking with a Kelsite Snapper. Attack for five, and then I can disturb a burial, something, or I can just play. Uh, is whenever you play a spell, right? Whoa, what the heck? It's whenever you cast any spell? Yeah, okay, so then I can play the Chasm Drake, drain him for one. I will definitely pay one. I guess I don't want to always seal to that because I can target creatures too. And what 
what you got. Does not have haste. Possibly you just couldn't play it last turn though and you did draw something. Uh Yeah, let's just swing with all these. Yay. Yay. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Two pingers, which is very good against me. Kabuto Moth, Perilous Mirror, Shaper Parasite, Nurok Replica, Intimidate. I do have an answer for Intimidate. Okay. Uh, I probably should have added Lance to my sideboard just in case I wanted to switch to red. So Fume Spitter is very good here. Fume Spitter Disturbed a Burial, probably. Actually, that's a really good combo. Didn't even realize that was going on. Mm. Actually, did I have the Fume Spitter before I passed the Grim Return? Probably. So I, that was probably a punt. Master, not so great. Like, all my 1-1s one are terrible here. What can I do about that? That's not good. That's not great. in the scimitar over something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good thing, Magic Online. You're going down. Nah, let's just. Uh, this hand's a little sketch, but I think I will keep. If he doesn't do anything, I'll probably hold off on casting the Calcite Snapper. Island first. Okay, I'll play a swamp because I'm definitely playing this. Actually, no. If he <laughs> if he doesn't do anything, I'm definitely playing the Kelsite Snap because it's a four-one shroud. Preordain. <laughs> Dan reading the text of flanking. I'm so glad they got rid of abilities like flanking. Oh, shit. What happened there? Did I unplug my mic? Can you still hear me? Okay, good. I don't... I just kicked a cord, so... Sorcerer? Ah, that's a pretty good Doomblade target. Uh, would I rather play... Nurak Replica? Or Doomblade this? 
five x three. It's not so bad. Okay, let's complete this. Yep, you got me. Land. Yes. Swing for four. Yeah, because next turn I can play more rock and sacrifice it if I want. Impulse, sure. Impulse main phase, not a good sign for you. Probably looking for land? Indeed. Are there any flash creatures in those colors in this cube? I have no idea. yield to that. I remember Calcite Snapper almost being constructed playable. It was probably played in block constructed. So if he does something, I can sack the rep, and if he doesn't do anything, I can just swing with it. Heirs of Stormkirk. I don't care about that. Do I? Nah. Like, what's he gonna do? Block the Moirock replica? He could trade here. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Swing with both. probably blocks here. If I if I flip it. But do I care about that? I don't think so. I think I'm okay with trading one for one when he doesn't have counter spells and I have disturbed burial. Yeah, but do I want to grab the Basilica Screecher first so I can start draining him? I think so. Like, because then I can do some other stuff. Well, actually, does it... One, two, three, cost five. So if, wait, so if I wait till next turn... No. Then I can disturb Burial and Screecher next turn. Right? If I don't draw anything? He might have a counter spell. I think there's negates in this. Yeah, you got me. Like, I'm not really worried. He's only got two cards in hand. Doing it in that order so I don't have to deal with the trigger this turn. Aw, oh, we're down to three. Which means it's just me, Split Shade, and Flow Kid, probably. Two cards in hand. We both got very flooded this game. What the heck is this? Rolling Thunder? Okay, if you've got a... Oh, wait, what? Oh. That's... I don't... Y yeah, you have to... Yeah, you have to... You, it'll give you, like, a little, um... 
up and down arrows to choose how much damage you want to deal to each target, and then it sets X, and then you pay. So, oh, okay, so... <laughs> I didn't think we were going to lose to that anyways, like... Uh, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, which means I can play a three drop, which means I'm, uh... Two, three, four, five. Okay, slate snapper. Yep. that one two three four five six seven eight so if I draw a land I can play ephemeron and basilica creature in the same turn Swinging with a Kelsite Snapper? Sure. I, <laughs> I've already got so much value, I don't see why I'm not. Uh, just attack with both. Probably blocks Norak Replica Torchlinger. Might have been better to just swing with. I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Uh, there's no way to play around mana leak. So let's just play around straight up counter spell. Oh wait, what am I doing? Four, five, six, seven. No, wait, never mind. Yeah. And that's a shape or parasite, obviously. Has to do it now, otherwise I can cast a spell when I have priority. Like obviously I'm just gonna You should have done that on your turn, because obviously I could... I'm, my hand is... Oh, okay, you, you do have a negate? Really? Like, I don't know if it matters, but spending the negate on the Morning Star? When I have... When I have the Disturbed Burial? Alright, so you have to deal with all my creatures. Narcolepsy doesn't hurt. Oh, it is. Yeah, I knew there was a thing. Okay, it costs three to unmorph. Alright. I'll have to remember that for next cube, I guess. gonna swing for two? Okay, that's not the right... I'm just gonna attack with my 1-1. One, one. 
I'm gonna cut your life total by a third. Uh, let's see. So let's... One, two, three, four, five. So I only have four? Oh, but no, I have five, so I can get back Chasm Drake. Die attack. Oh, does it? I wasn't actually paying attention. He would go to three? No, he'd go to one. How would it kill him? Because he went to three, so he would have went to one. Yeah, I guess, I guess then he can never remove the Basilisk creature, though, so... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right. 